YouTube, what's good? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball. Today we're gonna to work on some ball handling. We're gonna incorporate our feet. Feet take you to the basket, and once again, slow feet don't eat. Remember that. We're gonna work on pull separation. A step back is simply taking a step and pushing back. But pull separation is stepping, and then off this back foot, being able to create more separation. Usually more separation you create, more space, but slower move. We're gonna blend them today. You already know, let's get it. Footwork, footwork, footwork. That's what we're gonna focus on. Not a crazy handle right now, but our feet creating space. Both these lines are gonna hold us accountable, making sure we create enough space. What I really wanna imagine is, can I create enough spaces to get a good slide from that defender? Once I can get that defender to move left to right, now I can have him with an anchor break and move. But first, we have to focus on the hand placement. So as the ball's in my right hand, I'm gonna exchange to the left, but as I exchange to the left, I'm gonna pull to the right, meaning, it can look like I'm here, but I'm pulling off this back foot. Notice this foot will slightly come up, and I'm pulling to this line now here, and I'll dribble down. I'll do the exact same thing. I'll go between the legs, pull, and I'm getting to this line. So once again, both lines are just gonna hold you accountable, making sure you're creating enough space to have that defender shift or slide his feet. Right now, we wanna have one dribble between every series. Line's gonna hold you accountable, making sure you're creating space. You can be deceptive with your eyes and your body once you get the footwork. Next step, I want you to take away that extra dribble. So I want the ball to float in your hand and I want you flowing from right to left. If you have a dribble in between, I want us to take that away. So once again, floating the basketball, as I do here, when I go between, I'll float, and I'm getting right back into it. But I have to make sure my feet pull from line to line every single time. Still gonna focus on that footwork, but now I'm gonna have an exchange into another exchange. On the second exchange, that's when I wanna pull our footwork. So we're almost gonna fake, fake like I'm going one direction, and then fake again, and then pull. But when I land, no extra dribble. Fake that direction, fake that direction, and then pull again. So it's gonna be here, step between, step and pull. Step between, step and pull. Step between, step and pull. Last one now, I wanna get lateral separation into some downhill to space or downhill to the basket. So now when I go through, through and fake, I'll through and now when I pull, once again, I'm slightly pulling the ball to my pocket for protection. Instead of going between the legs, now I'm going right to my push cross. So I'm pushing the ball slightly outside of my knee. I'll push it, I'll go to a speed stop behind the back, I'll retreat back to this line. That's gonna hold me accountable and get the same exact rep again. I'll go between, pop, I'll pull space, push and behind the back. Really focus on the ball or your wrist staying on top, really beside the basketball so it's gonna allow you to push the ball and manipulate the ball in any direction.
That right there is creating separation with your feet, being able to pull. Remember the difference, step back is simply stepping back to a foot. That pull separation is actually using that back foot or that inside foot as you push back. A lot of lateral movement right there. Get that defender to shift, and then we worked on being able to attack. Have some fun with it, but make sure you work on the proper footwork in order to get that space. If you like today's video, let me know in the comments below. Let me also know what you want to see next. Make sure to like, subscribe, also hit that bell notification. It's Coach Marcus Hodges, you already know. Let's get it. Right now, we want to have one dribble between every series. Line's gonna hold you accountable, making sure you're creating space. You can be deceptive with your eyes and your body once you get the footwork. Next step, I want you to take away that extra dribble. So I want the ball to float in your hand and I want you flowing from right to left. Last one now, I want to get lateral separation into some downhill to space or downhill to the basket. 